so this is uh, question number 59 from 2022 paper so let f and g be the open interval in this minus 1 comma 1 and in the real space be thrice continuous differentiable function such that fx is not equal to gx for every non-zero x which belongs to the same uh, open interval minus 1 comma 1 so we have given about the f0 f dash 0 f uh, uh, double derivative of f0 and triple derivative of f0 so be then the g 0 g prime 0 g double prime 0 and g triple prime 0 is given so we have to find the limit of this uh, particular expression okay so now uh, first what we can do we can write fx in the form of f0 x of f prime 0 x squared by 2 factorial f double prime 0 x cube by 3 factorial f triple prime 0 so what is f 0 so we will put the values over here F0 is ln2 x is pi is pi of x f double prime 0 is pi square so x square pi square pi 2 plus x cube f triple prime 0 is pi to the power 9 by 6 similarly we can write for so this is fx same we can write for gx so gx is the same g0 is ln2 plus pi of x plus x squared by x squared pi squared by 2 plus x cube pi cube by 6 okay now we have then given the e to the power fx minus e to the power gx by fx minus gx we have to find so what will be the e to the power fx so we can write it in the uh, in this manner so, e to the power fx minus gx so this first three terms are common for both fx and gs so we can write it e to the power to the power ln2 plus pi x plus x square pi square by 2 and in bracket e to the power x cube pi to the power 9 divided by 6 minus e to the power x cube pi cube to the pi 6 ok so we have the fx minus gx so this fx minus of gx fx minus gx so it, it will be so every term the first three term will just uh, cancel each other out so it will be x cube pi to the power 9 by 6 minus x cube pi cube by 6 okay now this ln2 means e to the power ln2 is 2 right so we can write this as 2 e to the power pi x plus x square pi square by 2 and we can rearrange this uh, so it is about x cube pi to the power 9 by 6 minus e to the power x cube pi cube by 6 so in the denominator if we take uh, if we 
we do this so x cube pi to the power 9 minus pi to the power 3 by 6 right if you take limit extends to 0 in this function so what it will be so if we take this limit extends to 0 because we have to find that the limit extends to 0 at this function so uh, here it is limit extends to 0 so in limit extends to 0 what we will find so 2 will be there so it is the power 0 is my 1 okay and uh, so we will put this outside so let's uh, uh, you can do it in this manner if we put x equal to 0 limit x equal to 0 so it will be 2 uh, this will remain 1 it will equal 0 is 1 2 by pi by 9 pi to the power 9 minus pi to the power 3 divided by 6 pi cube now limit x tends to 0 so we can just x cube is there so we can write it in this manner this e to the power x cube pi to the power 9 by 6 by x cube minus e to the power x cube pi cube by 6 by x cube. So here you can do one thing that if I write this equation, suppose so if I put minus one over here and minus one over here, so it will the equation the will remain the same because whenever we this do this the minus one it will be plus one. So minus one plus one will get cancelled. So how can we write this now? So we already have uh, this 2 by pi to the power 9 minus pi q by 6. So limit here it will we can write it that in this manner. This so it will be pi to the power 9 by 6 minus pi to the power pi cube by 6 we can write it in this limit okay so here you can find that these two terms cancel out each other so the final result is two. So, let's, so the value of this limit is equal to two. so let f be a semi closed interval in this uh, real space r and g is also uh, this g and f are continuous function such that the integral is given of f and g uh, this 0 to x cube plus x square f t dt x square and 0 to g x t, t square dt 9 of x plus 1 cube. So, I have to find the value of this f2 plus g2 plus 16 f2. So, first uh, let uh, consider this integral ok. So, 0 to x cube plus x square f t d t is equal to x square right. So, using the Leibniz uh, theorem we can just confirm uh, this convert it into so it will it can be written as to the derivative actually. So, f of x cube x square so derivative of this will be 3 x square plus 2 x and it will be 2 x right. So, f of x cube plus x square can be written as 2 by 3x plus 2. Okay. Now, go to the g. So, the another integral is so 0 to gx t square dt 9 of x plus 1 whole cube is given or all x blocks to this close interval 0 to infinity. So, if we do the same uh, this derivative of this, so it will be t square means g excess 
whole square g prime x it will be 27x plus 1 whole square right okay so it will be x x plus 1 whole square so this gx can be written as we know that gx means what is g prime x g prime x is nothing but d of gx by dx okay. so what you can do over here keep it as it is the gx square d of gx and we put the dx upon this side Now, integrating both sides, if we do the integration on both sides, what will we find? So it will be gx cube by 3 and uh, this g of a, it will be the same thing like this. And we will take this 27x plus 1 whole cube by 3. And if we consider the um, constant as c by 3, so gx cube is 27 plus x cube plus c. Right. So from here we can uh, find the value of gx is 27 x plus 1 whole cube plus c to the power 1 right. now put the value of so I have to find the value of c from here because if we don't find the value of c so we cannot get the value of gx and from gx we have to find the g2 so what we will do in the integral so we will put the value of gx in this integral and we will find the value of the so if we put this as 0 to gx d square d d 9 of x plus 1 q it will be 1 by 3 d cube okay. here it is gx minus 0 and 9 of x plus 1 whole cube right so here d cube is gx cube we put over here so we have the value of gx cube over this so we can write this 1 by 3 gx cube is 27x plus 1 whole cube plus c 9 of x plus 1 whole cube. So if we do the simplify this, so it will be 9 plus 1 whole cube plus c by 3 into 9x plus 1 whole cube. So this both side will cancel out. So we have c equal to 0. Okay. So gx is equal to, so from here we can find the value of gx. So gx is equal to c equal to 0 means gx is 3x plus 1. So what you're doing, you're doing this put the value of c equal to 0. So it is 0. So 1 by third, so it will just 3x plus 1. Now, we have the two equations. One is the f of x cube plus x square is 2 by 3x plus 2 and gx is equal to 3x plus 1. Now, we have to find the f2. So, how we have to find the f2? If we put 1, x equal to 1, so 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 by 5 it will be 
you have to find f12 so if we put x equal to 2 8 plus 4 so it will be 2 by 8 it will become 1 by 4 similarly for g2 we have 1 6 it will be so 2 x equal to 2 2 plus 1 3 9 okay 3 2 3 is 9 so we have to find the value of f2 plus g2 plus 16 f12 if we put the values over here this is 2 by 5 plus 9 plus 16 into 1 by 4 so it will be just 4 so you will get 67.5 which uh, signifies to 13.4 c so our answer to this question is 38.40 so the value of this particular function is uh, Okay. So, this is our answer for question number 60.